The auction house is dead. Transmog sales are dead. Crafting is worthless. You can't even farm anything because everything's flooded and people just undercut you. You can't make gold in Warcraft. At least that's what all the haters say. We know different though. What's going on everybody? Wow time here with another World of Warcraft video. This is the weekly clear out where I go through all of my different characters, what they sold, how much profit, that's right, profit, not like overall gold, but how much we're actually walking away with at the end of the week and how we got there. Best to watch this video all the way through because you're going to get tips along the way. If you don't want to do that though, there are timestamps down below. I'd like to thank everybody that is a subscriber to the channel. We are over 2k now. That is amazing. If you like World of Warcraft content, specifically gold making, a little bit of Mythic Plus, and whatever else the game has to offer, consider subscribing, like the video, leave a comment down below. And remember, it does take a lot of time and effort for content creators to put this content out to help everybody and for your enjoyment. So if you'd like to give a little bit of that back in a monetary way, you can always join up as a member of this channel. You get different perks based on the different levels that you join. For those that want to have a monthly commitment, you can click on the join button down below. If not, and you want to do a one-time thing, don't forget you can always do a super thanks, and that will help me out or any other content creator that you want to donate to. That'll help them out as well. That being said, this video is completely free to everybody who is watching, so let's get right into it and see what we have. Now this is a character, first time this week, is Beard of War, Blacksmithing and Engineering. Now Blacksmithing and Engineering has been a big, big gold maker for me this expansion. Last two weeks though, it sort of sucked. So let's see what we got on this character, and then we'll move on and we'll get a total at the end. So as you can see here... There are some big ticket items. I mean, we got 57,000 uh, gold, right? So there's some big ticket items in here, but nothing like it normally is. Uh, did sell Radiant Boots. Now, these are an old school craft uh, that probably cost like 100 gold to make, sold for 1,900. The bigger one, this is interesting. Um, this, I made about 87 gold on each one. And you can look, I sold 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is an old school engineering craft that I'm making good gold on. Some uh, crafted dreadful stuff, wormhole generator, Northrend. Here's the big one, steel bound harness. This cost me about 3K to make. You make it with 50 blood of Sargeras is the biggest hold up on this to keep you from mass producing it. I usually get about one a week, sometimes two if I specifically farm the blood of Sargeras. 3,000 gold to make, sold it, got 42K back. That's a 40,000 gold profit. That's really awesome. Other than that, some little stuff here. Uh, and then Frost Tiger Blade, 3,752. That's awesome. That's a few thousand gold there in old school um, uh, craft as well for blacksmithing. Let's open all that up. And let's actually see, just based on that, let's see where we were at just with this character. So even though we didn't sell a lot, we did make pretty good gold, right? We ended at, uh, last week we had 2,157,000 roughly. And then here we are this week at 2,194,000. So that's about, what is that, about 37k uh, profit there. Even for not selling a whole bunch, but getting a big ticket item. I will take that all day. Let's see if we've got anything in the auction house that we're waiting to come through. Nope, nothing right there. It was 744k posted these i'm concerned about the ceremonious stuff i think that i might end up just having to vendor those because dragonflight is so close still not bad let's check out our next character okay captain fantastic jewel crafting and mining haven't mined anything done some jewel crafting not anything exciting this character was making the second most gold on this realm uh, for the longest time but now, with Dragonflight around the corner, I'm just stuck with a bunch of, uh, like, rings and stuff that nobody's going to buy. However, I did sell a few things. Versatile Selenium Ring. Uh, Viridium Staff of Alacrity. This is a BFA staff that Jewel Crafters make. Made pretty good gold on it. I'm going to say at least 2,500. 
Jade Panther, before you get all excited and think, oh, look at that 28K, the Panther mounts. Let's look at why I don't think that this is uh, an actual, like, amazing sale. So here's the Jade Panther. Uh, as you can tell here, it's 22461 to craft. So I spent almost 23000 to get 28 back. So 23000 to get 6000 is not really a good uh, deal in my estimation. However, 32948 gold. Let's open it. And uh, let's see actually on this guy too, uh, the exact amount that we uh, made. Uh, 826 to uh, 859 in the week so 26 to 59 that's still about 33k right there um, is what we uh, got back so the expenses for this amount are not in this uh, week because I got them um, a while ago so it is not including the expense but we are up 826 to 859 Okay, let's move on. Okay, Deadly Bones, uh, Leatherworking. Um, same situation. I'm stuck with a bunch of uh, gear from Shadowlands that I'll probably end up having to vendor. But we did manage to get 10,400 gold this week. So these sales have been super um, not very spectacular. But in a few characters, when we get to the second realm, there's uh, some amazing, amazing stuff that I want to show you also stick around for that war bear woolies 6600 and uh yep 6600 gold these bone bound knuckles cost about 40 gold to make and then sell them for almost 900 so that's pretty good here did sell some leggings let's open that up 10420 gold okay, let's move on okay turkey club all that I've done on this character is sell iron docks transmog i have a video that i uh, plan to do about this so i'm not going to empty this but i'll just run through it with you real quick Sixty thousand gold 640 and it's from the past 21 days so three weeks now this is six uh well 60 runs so about five and a half six hours of running iron docks but it's taking me three weeks to uh, get this amount back, we're at 60,000 gold, um, and that's you know, no investment except for time. Notable items the Terra Claw Britches, Terra Claw Jerkin. Looks like somebody probably bought this whole set here. This is a big one, uh, auction control module. So, what happens if you run iron docks and you have a level two um, trading post in your garrison? You can get these parts, you get this one, this one, and then one more. And uh, you make this right here, and this sold for 28k, which is phenomenal. I do have a few more listed, so it wasn't a fast seller. Um, Breastplate of the Quick Blade, Gulrock, and then a few um, 2000 ones, which are the pieces to that um, auction house part. So 60k here, we're going to leave that alone. Just wanted to fill you in on it. Okay, let's get our total. Okay, Chubby Butter, the Bank Alt. Open it up, 18,900 gold. Some pretty interesting sales here. Coin of Many Faces, this is from the farm that you can do during Hollow's End. I probably got enough to last me all year. 3,000 gold there, just a bunch of little stuff. Bloodless Gauntlets, transmog from who knows where. Um, I think it's Burning Crusade-ish, it sounds like. Son of Seath, or Son of Seth. This is interesting because you need rep with one of the factions in Draenor. And I actually did a video about it, about getting that rep during time walking. And then you have to get some Apex Crystals and you can buy this thing. Took a long time to sell. Ended up making about 4K on it. Uh, some more Transmogs. This was a Battle Pet, the Gorm Needler, and another coin of many faces. So 18,918 gold. Let's open that up. And we'll get a total here for this round. Okay, so we want to look at the week for all eight players. Looks like we started here at 4,335,000 gold, and we ended at 4,433,000 
gold. Now, I'm not a math whiz, but that looks like about 100K. Let's go ahead and pull out our trusty math whiz, also known as the calculator. 4,433,000 minus the 4,335,000, and then that's going to give us 98K. So 98K on this realm, not too bad, especially for all of the uh, the crafting, not really going through and making a, a, a big a chunk like it normally does. But we did have some big ticket items, 98K, nothing to scoff at, especially when you consider I'm on two realms mainly and you see the profits from this next realm. Let's check them out. Here we go. Ham sandwich, alchemy, and inscription, neither of which I've done anything with this week. But I have farmed the crap out of Zareth Mortis for Veruth's guillotine. And it paid off big time. You guys are going to like this. Let's open up this mailbox. 765,000 gold. How sweet is that? That's a good clear out. Let's break some of this down. Okay, so here's Veruza Guillotine for one. 366,738 gold. Took me about two and a half hours to farm that up. All right. While I was doing that, I farmed up glimmers to make um, archetype pets to sell and a lot of green items that surprisingly sold for quite a bit. So there's a Verus guillotine. We know that's a big one. But then look at what else I sold. Archetype of Malice, two of them, 23,750 gold. And that comes from these right here, the glimmers. And as you can see, I still have more to make. I just have to go farm the Genesis Motes, which you need 300 of, to make them. Now, I did have to buy the Lattice, which is about 6K. So you got a minus 6K from this uh, price here. But you're still looking at, what, 17K, almost 18K profit. And then the Archetype of Focus and another Malice here for a little bit less. And then also... A, uh, a multi chicken 10k so really 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 good farm some people farmed on a stream with me to get some of that stuff and then I did a little bit myself as well you can see all these flipper fish here now I did sell some of them you can only hold one in your bag at a time I sold three and then haven't been able to sell any cents so when you have the strange goop that's used to call Hyrukin, I think it's his name, and uh, Zareth Mortis, you have to get the goop and then get some other fish. If you have the goop in your possession, you can farm these other fish, and people will buy them. So I had the goop and I farmed this. So this is 8, 16, what, 24, 25, almost 26K. That's awesome. And I just farmed that up, okay? Now, the Strange Goop, I did sell several of these. I bought, I think I bought eight or nine of these for 35K each. I took a gamble, right? I spent like 300,000 something gold on these, all right? And then I was able to resell some for this here, making about 12K on each. And then the price dropped again. But just to get rid of them, I did sell them off. So I still made about uh, four, three to four K on each of these. Huge, huge, huge. And then all these other ones here, Staff of the Dormant Oracle, Harmonic Actuator. These are just green drops from Zareth Mortis. For some reason, people are still buying them like crazy, right? 800 gold, 600, 500, 300 gold, uh... 126 that's not right truth seeker staff for 2000 gate warden's war glaive for a thousand ineffable spire for almost 2000 ancient protectors pulverizer for 2400 that is insane harmonium girdle 4900 gold these are like item level 226s ancient pulverizer 5000 so i don't know if people are buying this uh just for the um transmog or tertiary stats or what but uh they were definitely buying it this farm here that, that i got a lot of the stuff with uh is going to be amazing even in dragonflight farming for the pets farming for the guillotine it is going to still be a good one let's open this up seven hundred and sixty six thousand gold 
Let's check and see how much we made. We were at uh, 1 million and uh, 14,000. You can see that's where I spent a lot of the gold at. So 1 million and 14,000. We are now at 1 million 438,000. What is that? 424K profit on this character. That is so amazing. 424K on this one character from doing primarily Zareth Mortis uh, guillotine farms and flipping strange goop. That is really, really good. I would take that all freaking day. Super awesome. Let's go check out my bank tune and we'll get a total for the week on this realm. Okay, Chubby Butter, Bank Tune. See what we got. 70,000 gold, almost 71K. Super, super awesome. Big part of that, though, is the Strange Goop. And you can see here, I did spend 34, 35 on this. So it's, you know, um, a 3, 4K profit on that still. Um, Silk Weave Gloves. These are actually just a uh, Transmog craft from Tailoring. Probably made about 700 gold on those. Uh, this is just some little, you know, things here, uh, transmogs and whatnot. Archetype of Motion, another Xerath Morth pet. Um, Golden Fleet Longsword, no idea. Bleached Bone Hand Axe, no idea. Transmog from somewhere. And then Archetype of Malice, 14,000. And a Crimson Skipper, 7,600. I want to say this came from the Honey Farm in Stormsong Valley, I believe. Either way, 70K. Let's go ahead and open all of that. And then we'll get a total uh, for the week for this realm and then for both realms. Okay, looks like we ended at 3,794, 3,794,000 thousand um last week and then this week we ended at four million two hundred and eighty nine thousand gold let's pull up our math whiz here and put in these numbers four million two hundred eighty nine thousand and then minus the three million seven hundred and ninety four was it 94? Yep. 1,000 equals 495,000 gold that we made, got back this week on this realm. Mainly on one character. A big part of that was the Verus guillotine that sold. Okay. So we'll take that. Plus the 98,000 that we have from the other realm, 593,000 for the week. That in North America is two wow tokens, right? They're about 240k each, two wow tokens right there. So let's clear all this out and let's add up the total to see how much gold we have in total. Uh, 4,289,000. Plus, on the other realm, we had 4,433,000 equals 8,722,000 gold all together. How cool is that? Almost gold cap. I know technically it's not almost gold cap because it's on two different realms, but still pretty darn decent. You can buy your WoW tokens. You get 8 million gold, you can pretty much buy whatever you want in the game, right? So you can buy game time, you can buy transmogs, you can even buy your achievements or like your heroic uh, raid kill mounts and stuff like that. So you can really do a lot with that amount of gold. That is super cool. So I hope that y'all learned something. I hope that you learned maybe a good way to go about getting gold or some ideas of what to do to make gold. Everything I've done here can be replicated you know, by time and you can make more. Okay. So this is really good though. This was a good week. Great way to go into dragon flight. So I'm excited about that. And I'm really excited at the community that we're growing, uh, here on the channel. So if you want to be a part of that, don't forget, you can join, um, with a monthly membership to get perks. 
You can join the Discord down below, which is absolutely free. And uh, yeah, leave a comment. Join the conversation. Let's get it going. Thank you. Have fun playing the game. Remember, it is just a game. Have fun playing it. And until next time, I'll catch you all later.